we wanted to create a vision of how F1 could come to exist and use it to discuss the kind of future that people want. All of this allowed us to create a hypothesis that embodied market direction and people's hopes for the future of motorsport. We spent time with fans, with drivers, race strategists and engineers, and we spent time analysing technological and market trends. Together, we created a vision for Formula One in 2050. To really explore the future of motorsport, it wasn't enough to design another concept car. We wanted to explore a vision that captured the fans' experience to how a track would develop, how the cars would be powered and how the driver would feel. We sought out experts throughout McLaren to understand more of race strategy, powertrain, battery technology, aerodynamics, marketing and other key elements that go into running an F1 team. What really came through in all this was the passion, emotion and story of human endeavour. We found people armed with stories of Senna, Hakkinen or Hamilton's finest moments. When we spent time with the drivers it was clear that their viewpoint and what they feel during a race would become integral to the story. We also spent time with the fans, digging deeper to understand the value they derive from F1, their memories, relationships to the sport and their hopes for the future. But it was clear that fans wanted the sport to evolve. They want the sport to grow to include new people, places and culture. It was eye-opening and exciting to spend time with people who are so passionate about the sport and its role, to see the extremes they go to to get as close as possible to racing. We looked towards markets and gathered political, economic, environmental, societal and technology news. We will see increased legislation and investments in green energy and environments due to new regulations. From this analysis we were able to uncover signals of where these markets might be heading in the future. Our research gave us some unique first-hand insight into the psyche of a Formula One fan and their deep personal relationship with the sport. We learned that fans and other enthusiasts saw purity from the sport and above all else they had a strong belief that racing is human at its core, a sport of passion and one that epitomises the limits of human endeavour. This and other learnings became signals of possible directions and painted a picture of the pressures, challenges and opportunities for sport in 2050. We captured these as a set of hypothetical scenarios. For example, one was Faced with increasing symbiosis of man and machine, automation and artificial intelligence in 2050, what if Formula One celebrated the role of the driver? Working alongside a new generation of mobility designers and material future students, we envisioned how Formula One might respond to these scenarios. We then synthesized a huge range of possibilities down to a single set of concepts. We developed a car that was founded on technical insight from aerodynamics, powertrain and other areas, alongside exploring how fans could experience the spectacle of Formula One. For example, we designed a cockpit around showcasing the driver to fans. It included a visualization of driver emotion. By highlighting emotions such as frustration while defending their position, we can bring fans closer to the experience. However, to really highlight the story of Endeavour, we wanted to go a step further. We wanted to actuate performance features of the car based on driver cognition, physiological data, and emotion. Effectively making the driver the central nervous system of the car by plugging them in. The resulting concept means that when the driver is psyching themselves for an overtake, active arrow on the car does the same. It hunkers down, wings fold back, and the side parts tuck in, creating a streamlined dart that can fly past rivals.
Our design concept is the MCLE, an electric car designed around giving the fans a stake in a spectacle by exposing them to the driver's skills, endeavor, and emotions. Our vision is to take the human-machine interface to the extreme. On the machine side, it is about embracing the zero emission journey with no compromise on power, efficiency and driving experience. We do hope motorsport will evolve in order to increase the accessibility to new people, new places and new cultures and we will work together with our engineers to develop the technology to get the fans closer and closer to the race event and to the spectacle. And we believe, with no doubt, that there are many possible futures for motorsport. What do you think?